Ford has been Europe's top commercial vehicle company for seven consecutive years. The company also recently launched Ford Pro, designed to meet commercial customers' specific needs and help them work smarter, faster, and of course, more sustainably, ensuring that their overall productivity is maximized. Now, starting back in 1971, Ford showcased its van business by mixing racing technology and transits to create unmistakable super vans. Now, that first van had a Le Mans winning GT40 engine in it, quite remarkable. But now Ford Pro has built an electrified, connected version fit for the 21st century. Welcome to the utterly bonkers Ford Pro electric supervan. This is the fourth supervan to carry the name, and it's the first all-electric supervan. It's up to speed, quite literally, with Ford's huge global commitment to electrification, which includes the next-generation e-transit custom van that, of course, inspired this spectacular machine. And it's not just the motors that are powerful, it's the processors too. This is the first supervan fitted with Ford Pro's advanced digital features to showcase just how connected services can really accelerate customers' businesses. Now, I'm absolutely delighted to say that I'm here with some of the key names behind the Ford Pro Electric Supervan to really get to grips with the tech and the story behind it. Mike, good to see you. How are you? I'm very good, Nikki. And you? Very good. I'm very excited because, of course, you are the programme supervisor from Ford Performance with the Supervan. So, I am. first of all, congratulations because it is very, very super. How much of it is really a transit van, though? Well, it started life as a transit van. Okay. <laughs> and then, since then, we've done a little bit of work to it. So, it's not quite as it seems, perhaps. It's everything that Ford Pro and Next E-Transit Custom are, but turned up to 11. This is about demonstrating our EV engineering and connectivity capabilities that accelerate customer productivity. This also helps us test and learn from new ideas to improve what we do in the future, both in the real world and on the racetrack. Why did you decide to make the Superban and why did you decide to make it electric? Well, electrification for our customers is about zero emissions, performance, smooth driving, quiet. So Supervan ticks some of those boxes. Yeah. Um, certainly zero emissions, but when it comes to things like perhaps quiet driving, you probably couldn't say that about Supervan. Not, I would not relaxed drive, no? Uh, you could, it's got eco mode, so okay. you could have a relaxed drive, but I would put it more in the, in the rocket ship come roller coaster kind of category. <laughs> Great, that sounds like the perfect van that I would like to drive <laughs> So Mike, does this have regenerative braking? It does, Nikki. Just like our e-transit custom owners, who have experienced exactly the same thing, when they slow down, when they brake, they regenerate some energy. We do exactly the same thing. We can probably do a slightly more regeneration or a much higher power than they can, but the principles are the same. Now, we've talked about the performance. It's clearly packed with super performance. What about when it comes to connectivity of this car? As you say, it's a fully connected van. So it has a sync screen with our advanced sync technology. Um, that means it's connected to the cloud. Uh, it's got its own Wi-Fi hotspot. For our customers, or our fleet customers particularly, it, with Ford Pro, for them, it might be tracking where their vehicles are. Right. Understanding when they might want their next charge. For us, we'd use it slightly differently. If we're going around the track, we would want perhaps some more track data, a track map we'd want to understand different parameters, temperatures, pressures, and all of that we can feed directly to our own engineers. So in terms of what we, what we use it for is different, but the connectivity side of it is exactly the same. Okay, so tell us a bit more about the different driving modes. We're developing all sorts of modes, but at the moment we've, we've got a track mode, yeah. we've got a road mode, so that would be your kind of your eco mode, mm -hmm. and then we've got a drag mode. Drag mode. Great, lovely. Never driven a car with drag mode, tell us more. Drag mode would be where you want to accelerate from a standstill 
on a straight piece of road as fast as you possibly could. That sounds like a lot of fun to drive. Well, you really need to ask Roman. He's the one that will tell you what this thing's like to drive. <laughs> okay, well, we will be speaking to him. I'm quite envious of his role. <laughs> well, Mike, huge congratulations. Thank you Because it's very a very much. special project and uh, can't wait to test it soon. So, Michael, as the CEO of Stard, you had to work with Ford Performance to basically turn a pretty crazy idea into the reality that we see today. Tell me about that design process. Yeah, that was truly a crazy idea. So when we got approached by Ford Performance to co-develop with them a Ford Transit super van, the first question I had was like, super what? <laughs> like a super van? Uh, you know supercars, right? But a super van uh, is something quite different, right? Uh, however, with that great teamwork with Ford Performance and, and, and all that team members also from Ford all over Europe, the US, the UK, the prototyping facilities, we ended up with this uh, incredibly beautiful show car-like fully race bred vehicle. I mean, it is really quite spectacular. It's a really eye-catching design, that's for sure. Um, talk to us about what is going on underneath the bonnet and a bit about the performance as well. Well, underneath is the right word because we have an extremely low uh, packaged powertrain on the front and on the rear um, and actually uh, the whole body of that vehicle is based on the true next generation Ford e-Transit Custom. Talk to me about the size of the battery. So it's 50 kilowatt hours, um, it's a fully high performance optimized battery system. It's packaged into a, a high safety carbon fiber casing and it's entirely optimized to deliver the most power you can get out of it. So we're talking about approximately 2000 horsepower of the battery electric system. Wow, okay, can we take a little look around? I'm absolutely fascinated to see uh, what's going on in the cockpit. In this vehicle from the motorsport systems is totally unique. So you can see in the center, that's a screen actually taken from the Ford road cars, which merges Ford performance features to set up the powertrain, but also Ford Pro functionality, like tracking the vehicle, knowing uh, the battery uh, charge at any time for the fleet manager. So, so that's a completely unique combination of features. So you've got some sort of real world usage that you would use if you're obviously uh, driving your e-transit. Roman could practically take that vehicle on the road to the racetrack where he would use a lot of the features of the center stack where he even can have a navigation system and search for the next charging station, which he can use because that car can be charged at a public charging station. At the same time in the moment he switches into the race mode on the track, he sees all the technical and setup information on that cluster in the center uh, to have all these race functions. Well, Michael, it is great to see this view of the cockpit, but there is one other view that I want to take a look at, and that is of the rear of the car, because here you can really appreciate that, yes, it's all electric, but it's also all wheel drive. You can see the two motors at the rear and the two at the front. Correct, so we have two electric motors here on the left and on the right side, and the central gearbox system between those two. We have a two-speed uh, gearbox and uh, transmission system, which actually has a shorter first gear for crazy acceleration, but as well a longer second gear, which uh, brings into the top speed mode, which is over 300 km per hour in this vehicle, in a transit. Wow, okay, and acceleration? Uh, well, I won't hold you to it, but approximate. Definitely two seconds is the area we're talking about. <gasps> I mean, that is just phenomenal, it's isn't it? Wow, well, it's been absolutely uh, fantastic. A real privilege to see all that hard work really showcased here today. So hopefully Roman will have lots of fun in it. Thank you, we will. Now it seems only fitting that an electric supervan comes with its own super driver. He's set records at Pikes Peak, the Nürburgring and at Goodwood. It is of course, double Le Mans winner, Roman Duman. Roman, how was that? It looked like a lot of fun. Tell us. <laughs> yes, for sure. First rollout, I'm really, really impressed already. I had a lot of fun, you know, it's a first time for me in a van, or an electric <laughs> van. Does it feel like a van though? I mean, it doesn't look like a van from the inside. <laughs> Yeah, by driving, you know, just after a few laps already feel very comfortable. You have the size of a van, let's say like that, but in terms of performance already it's uh, really impressive. I can see a lot of things also on the dashboard, how to manage the tires pressure, launch control. I mean, many things that, I, first of all, I need to learn to, <laughs> to get everything out of it. This also must be quite special, I suppose, to be part of a bit of a new era, having this kind of technology. You know, I remember when I was a child already looking this van and telling, what, what, what are these crazy <laughs> ideas? But today I'm driving it and uh, I'm so happy about that and really excited. Does it still feel crazy? 
It will be crazy, you can be sure. <laughs> a reality, a crazy reality. <laughs> well, Roman, we will let you get back to it because I know you've got lots of work to do and improving that performance as always. Thank you. Thanks.